Alright guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to get up and running with NB Android, which is the Android SDK plugin for NetBeans, because if you're like me, um, you don't like Eclipse at all, which is the default environment that Google supports. So, some guys have written their own little third-party plugin that works with Android SDK with NetBeans. So, go ahead and of course, you're going to want to download the Android SDK installer from Google. I'll put the link to that in the description probably. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Pretty self-explanatory. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do that again, but I'm sure you can figure that out. And then you're going to want to launch the SDK manager. Uh, you're going to see a window like this. Um, I've already got uh, a couple of these packages installed, but so I have this button checked. But um, check which Ever Android platforms you're going to want to work with. So, for instance, you want to be developing for 2.2, let's say. Go ahead and uh, you know check that off. You don't really need this other stuff, but uh, so I don't have it installed. Um, you're going to mainly need the SDK platform and possibly the Google APIs for each platform you plan on developing for. Um, go ahead and click Install Packages, Accept All. Once again, I've already installed this, so I'm not going to download it again. Um, then go ahead into Tools and Manage AVDs, and this is the list of virtual devices that you uh, test your programs out on. Of course, this is not actually necessary if you actually have an Android device. You can um, just deploy it onto that device straight from NetBeans. But if you don't and you won't want to use the emulator, uh, select New, um, give it a name, select the platform you want to be developing for which is what um, version of Android and possibly Google APIs will be installed in this emulator um, probably good to give it a SD card 16 megabytes should be fine um, you can pick the screen resolution uh, probably going to want to go with default again and that will probably be fine uh, I'm just going to cancel this though uh, all right. Next, get out of this. You're gonna want to launch NetBeans. Going to take forever to start up, of course. And there we go. Um, go ahead and go into Tools, Plugins, and it is going to load some stuff. Go into settings and click add and uh, type in whatever you want. That's just a label for you. I'm going to call it NB Android so I know what it is. And enter in this URL, which will I will also put down in the description. Click OK. It's going to load. Uh, go to the available plugins. And type in Android in the search and you're going to want to go ahead and download and install that plugin um, yada 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 accept the license and it will download it's going to tell you that I don't know some stuff click continue And it should be working. All right, gotta close out of this. Uh, if it works, there we go. Um, let's try it out. File new project, Android, Android project. I call it Hello World. Package name, com dot test. Uh, ooh, manage Android SDK. We're gonna have to do that. And click browse to find your Android SDK. Um, it should have installed to program files x86 if you're on 64-bit operating system. 
and then Android and Android SDK is the default. Of course, you might have changed that when you installed the SDK and install it to wherever you like. Open. Okay, it's gonna bring up these. Uh, I'm just gonna check Android 2.2. Finish. And there we go. We got a project. Um, let's try it out. It's giving me an error because it hasn't generated the layout. But if we do build, it should work. Build failed. Hmm. Okay, uh, ignore that error. Uh, I was just having an issue because I was messing around with my files and I reinstalled some of this stuff. So um, if you have that issue for whatever reason, what I did was delete my .android folder within uh, my user directory and uh, it cleared up the problem. But uh, if this is your first time installing it, you probably should not have that problem. But uh, anyway, um, all right, go ahead and try running this again. And it is compiling and running. There we go. Um, thank you for using the Android SDK. Blah, blah, blah. Proceed. And here is the AVD, your virtual device. It is booting up. Okay, so the device finally booted up. Um, it didn't actually run the project because uh, this was the first time it started. But if we go back and we tell it to build, it should launch the application in the emulator now. And there you go. Hello world. Um, Thanks. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, maybe if you guys are interested in me doing some actual um, tutorials on Android programming, uh, maybe I'll get around to doing that. Uh, let me know. Thanks, guys.